region. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Greetings world. We are anonymous. On June 13, 2012 a 60-year-old Saudi man was admitted to a private hospital in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, with a seven-day history of fever, cough, expectoration, and shortness of breath. He had no history of cardiopulmonary or renal disease, was receiving no long-term medications, and did not smoke. On May 4, 2013, a sample of this Saudi SARS, aka novel coronavirus, from the very first infected Saudi patient arrived in Canada's National Microbiology Laboratory in Winnipeg via Ron Fauci of Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam, Netherlands who sequenced the virus sample. In March 2019, in mysterious event a shipment of exceptionally virulent viruses from Canada's NML ended up in China. The event caused a major scandal with biowarfare experts questioning why Canada was sending lethal viruses to China. Four months later in July 2019, a group of Chinese virologists were forcibly dispatched from the Canadian lab. The only level 4 facility equipped to handle the world's deadliest diseases where coronavirus sample from the first Saudi patient was being examined. The scientist who was escorted out of the Canadian lab along with members of her research team is believed to be a Chinese bio-warfare agent Xiango Ku. Dr. Xiango Ku is married to another Chinese scientist Dr. Keding Cheng. The couple is responsible for infiltrating Canada's NML with many Chinese agents posing as students from a range of Chinese scientific facilities directly tied to China's biological warfare program. Dr. Xiango Ku made at least five trips to the Wuhan National Biosafety Laboratory located only 20 miles away from the Huenan Seafood Market which is the epicenter of the outbreak. The Canadian investigation is ongoing and questions remain whether previous shipments to China of other viruses or other essential preparations, took place from 2006 to 2018, one way or another. Meanwhile, in a very strange turn of events, renowned scientist Frank Plummer who received Saudi SARS coronavirus sample and was working on coronavirus, HIV, vaccine in the Winnipeg-based Canadian lab from where the virus was smuggled by Chinese bio-warfare agents has died in mysterious conditions in Nairobi, Kenya. The Thousand Talents Plan or Thousand Talents program was established in 2008 by the central government of China to recognize and recruit leading international experts in scientific research, innovation, and entrepreneurship. In other words to steal Western technology. China's national strategy of military civil fusion has highlighted biology as a priority. And the People's Liberation Army could be at the forefront of expanding and exploiting this knowledge. Chinese military's interest in biology as an emerging domain of warfare is guided by strategists who talk about potential genetic weapons and the possibility of a bloodless victory. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the governments of China and Canada, we demand that you stop the testing of dangerous viruses. As you can see of what is going on, things can become much worse worse if an even more powerful virus you test manages to get loose and destroys all of humanity. We will now be watching humanity from all around our planet Earth. It is time to rise and put an end on all facilities that does nothing but test new viruses. Let us, humanity, show them how tired we are. If not, we all will be confined in our homes like prisoners. So let them expect, all of us. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.